Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, display an image on the screen. It can be while the game is running or even uh, more globally, for example in a title, in a title screen. Um, so in the previous tutorial, mm, tutorial number 16, we saw sprites which are, which are um, animated images. So, but um, yeah, you can also handle um, simple images like PNG files from Lua code. Um, okay, so Let's take for example this map, I mean any map, and we'll try to draw something on the screen, additionally to the map. And independently of the map coordinates. Uh, so I will explain what I mean by that. Initial game, let's start on that map. World S. So you can just try this on any map, but um, I, I want a map bigger than the screen size to have some some scrolling in involved. And the idea is to display uh, something like in a real game. You would you would want to display um, the the life of the player, the money and maybe some icons representing the current equipment items. So, um, okay, I'm just trying to open a file explorer here. Um, yeah, okay, here is my quest. So, for example, you have a lot of images in sprites and let's take sprites menus for example fairy cursor let's imagine that we want to display this png file on the screen uh, when we are on this map so to do this I open the map script and there is an event on draw And this event is automatically called um, repeatedly while the map is running. It's called ev every time the screen is, re is redrawn. At each frame, at each cycle, um, while this map is active. To draw the screen or redraw the screen. So the engine calls this function and gives you as parameter this surface representing the screen. So at this time the map and all its entities is already drawn but you can draw some additional things onto the surface. <coughs> and this is a surface that has the size of the of the screen. So in this case smaller than the size of the map. Okay the screen is uh, 320 <coughs> by sorry 240 in this case and you can see that in your quest properties. Here it's called the quest size. Size of the logical game area. Okay. Um, but um, before doing something in this function, we need to load the PNG file and to do this there is a function so let's call it ferry img there is a function sol.surface.create so images are called surface surfaces in Solaris um, you should check the documentation 
opening it right now and they are hidden here in under drawable objects because you have s simple surfaces text surfaces and also sprites uh, if you want to manage sprites from Lua which we did not in the previous tutorial but um, okay for the, the case of surfaces you have a function create that can take either a size or a file name so create an empty surfa surface with transparent pixels or create from an existing PNG file so in this case we'll create from the file menus slash fairy cursor PNG and this is relative to the sprites directory even though um, it is not really a sprite I mean you could see that as a, as a sprite that has only one animation, one direction and one frame but okay uh, PNG okay and then so you really want to do this outside this function because this function is called repeatedly remember uh, when the script itself is only called when the map is loaded so only once um, okay very IMG and there is function draw all durable objects have this function draw that take the destination surface and some coordinates so remember this is uh, 320 by 240 screen so something smaller than the map and let's for example draw the ferry at these coordinates and see what happens okay we have a ferry here but uh, remember it's really in screen coordinates not in map coordinates there is also a way to draw something in map coordinates um, but this is not really the point of this tutorial if you really want to know it's map draw visual here but um, I, w I just want to explain how to draw in an image and this is especially useful to display uh, to draw a head-up head display like the live counter, the money counter and like I was saying before some icons about the equipment items and so on okay so map on draw and of course if I go to another map my ferry just disappears and uh, yeah there is a small bug because it's not supposed to be displayed in map coordinates but uh, during the scrolling it still scrolls <laughs> but it shouldn't anyway it's a small detail uh, what I wanted to explain is that the yeah this code that we did here is in this map script so only affects this particular map you can also do the same in uh, at the game level so in your game manager uh, here you create the game and as you can see there is already an event here for on post but you can do an on draw event So yeah, the Android event also exists for for the game. So let's update the comment <laughs> while the game is running. And this time, no matter the the current map, we always have the ferry displayed on all maps. 
So as long as the game is running, this is called independently of the current map. But uh, you, we can even do better. We can be even more global. Main.lua. There is also a sol.main on draw event. Like we have sol.main on key pressed and sol.main on started. So again the comment while this quest is running. And surprise, we even saw the uh, the fairy in the title screen. I mean in the Solaris logo, not the title screen. Because Sol.main is really called during the whole execution, uh, even before we started the game. Because remember, we we start by showing the Solaris logo, and only when the Solaris logo finishes, we start a game. Okay, so this is a way to draw images, um, but generally you don't draw stuff in sol.main or or game. I mean sol.main on draw or even in game on draw uh, because you want to separate code in smaller components, especially if you have. Uh, a head-up display with a lot of things to draw in your game. So that's why we have the the um, framework of menus. Here, the Solaris logo is a menu. Uh, let's try to make to make a second menu, uh, like like a title screen. And it will be a very simple title screen with actu it will be actually just be a, a black screen with only the fairy yet again for this example. So when the Solaris logo is finished, um, we will show the title screen with the same. Uh, ID here, we start the title screen and when the title screen is finished we start the game. Okay, so this is a script that uh, <coughs> we will write in a few seconds. Um, just to be clear, you, this is completely equivalent to function, sorry, logo unfinished. You are probably more familiar with this syntax. So, maybe we should write it like this. Okay. So, yeah, let's create our script. Uh, menus, title screen. Okay. And <coughs> we use require. So if you remember the the tutorial about require, we always create a table, an initially empty table, and we return it to the code that's called require. And then we can add some functions. In this case, we will add only one function, the onDraw event. And it will be yet again the same code. And then I can remove this. So this is already cleaner because um, we no longer Define the code of the of our title screen in the main script. We have a separate script, and what's nice is that we just 
start it at some point and we will also have to stop it and while it started the engine will automatically call this event okay so let's try don't know if it will work the first time okay we have a black screen no error in the console um, that's weird <laughs> logo unfinished we start uh, uh, no 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 the first parameter of sol dot menu menu dot start uh, should be the the parent object of your menu okay this is working <laughs> I don't know if if this is a li if it's a nice title screen, but it's working. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this first parameter allows to automatically stop a menu whenever the parent is stopped. So in this case, the parent is just sold sold main, but sometimes it will be a game or a map. And you don't want your head, your head up display to continue when the game is stopped. So it allows to mm, uh, to limit the lifetime of your menu. So in this case, we want sol dot main, and we have the we had actually the bug because um, with the self syntax, it's a bit out of scope of this tutorial, but. Um, it's it's the opportunity to explain it. Self refers to whatever object w is before um, this uh, semicolon um, column. Okay. So self is sol dot main here, and it was also sol dot main before I I changed the syntax here. So actually there was a, a small difference. But for clarity, uh, it's mm, in this case much simpler to just use explicitly sol dot main. Okay, never mind. That's not the point. So you may notice that now you are stuck in your title screen, <laughs> no way to get out, start a game. And why is that? It's because we we never say that we want to stop the title screen menu. We just say say that when it is stopped, we start a game. So to actually stop it, we will make a second event. Teacher screen on key pressed, and it takes as parameters a keyboard key, the name of the keyboard key pressed. But no matter what keyboard key is pressed, we will just stop the menu. So menu stop title screen and we should return true here to indicate to the engine that we consumed the event we want we don't want the key press event to be propagated to other objects to other scripts <coughs> okay I'm pressing a key now Okay, nice, it works. Um, so you should really use menus to display things on your screen because if you don't, there is, there is no obligation, but if you don't, it means that this coach will be in sol.main on draw and this code in sol.main on key pressed um, there is already a sol dot main on key pressed. Uh, it's here for a very good reason. It's because there are keyboard events that we want to handle really globally, like uh, F11 to put the game in full screen, or the 
Alt F4 shortcut to stop the program. But um, these drawings and these key events are specific to, are re really local to the title screen. And you don't want to pollute your main script with um, code that should only be activated while the title screen is running. You, if you wanted to do th that from the main script, um, you would have to make sol dot main on draw here, uh, and at this point, in the sol dot main on draw, you would have to test if the title screen is running. So maybe store a boolean value or something. I don't know. And if the title screen is running, you display. Uh, <laughs> the actual image of your title screen and same thing for the, the key pressed uh, handle the, the key press event specific to the title screen only while the title screen is running so it will really really it will uh, get out of hands really quickly because in a real game your teacher screen will be much more complicated than just an image, maybe you will have animations, movements, I don't know. And you you will not only have a teacher screen before the game starts, but also we already have the Solaris logo and you will also have probably a save game menu, an options menu, something like that. So the menu API here uh, is really handy to separate code and it's quite elegant because this script here uh, does not know at all uh, when it is called it can be used by any other script really it just decides when it stops but any script can use it and anything and the script that uses it also decides what happens next. This script does not have to care about that. So um, I can tell from my, my experience in making uh, games like Zelda Mystery of Solaris DX that it's really really handy. I, it's much easier than to uh, reuse a script from from other scripts. Okay. So the main point was to uh, show how to display images. I hope it was clear enough. Again, you can also show some text with the text surface API. Um, you don't have to wait for the tutorial, really. <laughs> there will probably be one, but. Uh, the documentation, uh, you should be able to understand documentation of text surfaces here. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this episode. Uh, if you f have any question, uh, feel, f feel free to ask, preferably, preferably on the forum, if there is some code involved. Okay, so thank you all for watching. And see you next time. Bye. Bye.